Hello and uh, welcome one and all. Today we are going to install SQL Server Express Edition on Windows. This is part of the SQL series where we will perform ETL with Python. So we already have Postgres Server up and running. In this video we will install SQL Server. To get the install media we can Google SQL Server Express 2019 download and click on the Microsoft website link and I'll click the download link. This will download the installer. Once the download is complete, we can double click the installation media to begin the installation process. I'll select the basic installation to install the database engine with default configuration. And let's accept the default terms and click install to start the install. This will first download the installation media and once that's done, it will go ahead and install the SQL Server Express on your machine. The installation process may take some time, so I'll pause and come back once this is complete. Okay, the installation process is complete. We are presented with few important pieces of information here. First is the connection string to SQL Server Express, then the SQL Server admin account, and the installation location. We can also install the SQL Server Management Studio from here. Let's go ahead and download the Management Studio as well. The download may take some time. There are two components to SQL Server. The first install was the SQL Server, that is the backend database. And this is the SQL Server Management Studio, or SSMS, as it is commonly referred to. This is the front end. This is the user interface that allows us to manage the database. The download is complete, so let's head to download folder and double click the install file. This will bring up the installer. We will use the default options to install it. We are presented with the install location. I'll go ahead and click the install button. This will download the media and then install it. We can create, delete, and update objects in SSMS with SQL, that is the structure query language, or via the GUI. Using SSMS, we will restore a sample database for us to practice our SQL. The installation is complete. I'll close the installer. Now we can search for SSMS and it should come up. I'll go ahead and launch it. We will download and restore the sample at Ventureworks database. In the connection dialog box, we need to provide the server and the instance name. I have copied the connection string, so I'll paste it in Notepad and after the server name, it is the instance name. So I'll head back to Management Studio and I'll type in dot for localhost and followed by backslash SQL Express and click the connect button. This will open up the SQL Server Express. We don't have any databases yet, so we will go ahead and grab a copy of AdventureWorks from the web. I will search for download AdventureWorks database head to Microsoft site and download the latest edition. This will download a copy of this database and it comes in as a back file. So all we need to do is restore this. I'll open the download location and copy this over to C drive. Let's head back to management studio and right click on the databases folder and select the option of restore. In this dialog box, we select to restore from device and click on the ellipsis and click add and locate the file. Select the file and click OK and OK again. Under the options, I'll check the override option and click OK. This will begin the restore process and we get a success message. We see a database and if we expand it and look under tables, we have different schemas and tables present. Congrats, you have successfully set up a SQL Server environment to work with. Let's test it with a select statement to preview some data. I'll select sales order header table and select top rows. This will execute the query and display data from this table. Your SQL Server and database are set up. You can go ahead and look around and practice your SQL scripts here. In the next video, we will cover how to perform ETL from SQL Server to Postgres with Python. We will treat SQL Server as the source and Postgres as the destination server. We are done with the setup and the fun is about to begin. So stay tuned. This is all for now. Like, subscribe, and share.
take care and i'll see you in the next video